since I graduated my entertainment management course, I got a job at Ministry of Sound, which is now known as Tomorrow Music. One of my main responsibilities is I get to manage the social media. Everything that goes out on all the platforms is something that I'm in charge in and I get to manage. So that's such a good experience for me. Once I had finished at AIM, about three weeks later, I got a call from Ministry of Sound. And they were like, look, we need you to come in for an interview. There's an opening here. And I was like, Okay, yes, awesome, because you know it was one of my dream jobs to work at Ministry of Sound. Since working there, I pretty much have my foot in everything. I am their receptionist, I'm the social media manager for Ministry of Sound Club, and I'm also head of their internship program. So I'm now recruiting interns in our marketing department, touring department, and graphic design department. It's the best job that I've ever had. And I went from working at a fast food restaurant since I was 14, starting Tomorrow Music, and it's just the best thing that's happened to me. I chose to come to AIM because I felt like it would give me a sense of purpose. When I was at school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. When I came to AIM, I felt like this is something that I could actually excel in and something that I could be really good at. Every single teacher that I had was amazing. Everyone's working in the industry when they're teaching you, so they're giving you first-hand you know, advice. Coming to AIM, it was like a whole brand new life for me. I felt really accomplished even just walking through the front doors saying that I was going to uni. It was really good meeting heaps of people and I got to learn about something that I was actually passionate about. I felt like it was the most well-renowned place to go if you wanted a place in the music industry. I've always felt like the performing side is the front of the music industry and then the business side is like the backbone of what goes on. We're like the little puppeteers of, you know, making things happen. Now working in my job, I realise that the things that I learnt at AIM while studying the management course, I'm using pretty much every day. The marketing side, touring, and just all the other things that we get to learn, I am practising every day. AIM set the foundation for what I was going to expect when I went out into the business and into industry. When I left AIM, going into a business, it, it just seemed like a seamless transition. So the internship program that we did at AIM was towards the end of our course. The first internship that I did was in the marketing department at Tomorrow Music, formerly known as Ministry of Sound. And then the second internship that I did was a touring internship with Soapbox Agency, which is the touring arm of Tomorrow Music. It definitely gave me more of a sense of how businesses work. One of the reasons that I chose Bachelor of Entertainment Management was the internship course. It's actually part of our course that we have to do the internship program. So it pretty much forces you to get industry experience and it pushes you out of your comfort zones. AIM was like the industry leader in putting people into the industry and people actually have successful careers. If you have a passion about anything in life, not just studying, you need to just go for it. If it's something that you want to do, you need to make it happen or it's not going to happen by itself. If you were thinking of joining AIM, just do it. Coming to AIM was one of the best things that I ever did.